first time I ever saw this neighborhood, I automatically thought that there is no way this is the will of God for me to come here. Uh, I, of course, uh, said I would pray about it, but there was really uh, no praying going on because uh, how could God want me to bring my family to a place like this? In 2008, I was at a tent meeting about an hour away from here preaching it and I uh, had been up here that day before with my pastor looking at this particular spot again and my pastor uh, weeped over it and said, you know, this is, there's a great need here and I thought, you know, I know there's a great need but I don't believe I'm the one to, to fill that need. Uh, but that night God began to preach to me while Brother Weedo was preaching the Word of God and began to uh, show me visions of this place in my mind and began to put upon my heart that if I didn't come, who would come? If he couldn't get me, who was gonna come? And so I, I was very scared, but I, I surrendered my life that night. Uh, it took a while, laid on my face in that meeting. They uh, he closed the meeting down and I was still there. Uh, but I, I told God I'd go wherever he wanted me to go. And I finally got peace about coming here. And, and uh, shortly after that, God began to uh, put me in contact with the man that owned these old church buildings and we began to develop a relationship and uh, long story short God gave us the church gave us the two houses uh, and we were able to come here in 2009 in June and start the Liberty Baptist Church uh, it, it, it's a great thing to know that uh, the safety is not the presence of uh, the absence of danger it's the presence of the Lord Uh, and God has uh, paved the way for us ever since then. Our first service, we had a great number of people, I believe 146 people in that first service. Uh, we decided that we had to get this place fixed up. Many people said we could start like it was, uh, but we just prayed and God started filling the need uh, and uh, giving us the money to be able to renovate. We've renovated every bit of the auditorium. We started off with about an 85 seat auditorium uh, we put in the baptistry, we're a Baptist church. We, we worked real hard to make it first class at what it is today. We have a unique opportunity here. Uh, I believe God is a big God and he has shown me that by what he's done here at the Liberty Baptist Church. And it's miraculous, it's, it's nothing less than a miracle what he's done and is doing. But we don't believe he's done here. We didn't come here to start a church and get a hundred people. We came for the city. We believe that he's entrusted us to start many churches in the inner city, one right after the other. And right now the opportunity is great with two places to choose from. And I've met with the owners and God is softening the hearts of these owners. And they are waiting on me right now to give them a response for the, uh, the, 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 the offers that they put on the table with us and we're still working on some other things. But I've been inside those buildings and I can see God putting people in there. I can see nurseries and I can see junior churches and, and I can see the auditorium filled with a beautiful place for people to meet Jesus, just like we did, just like I did. And I believe that the time is now and we need some folks to get on board with us, some churches, some pastors, some people that will say, uh, we'll get behind you because we believe that God can do it too.